Welcome, space explorers. Get ready for an out-of-this-world adventure as we delve into the captivating realm of astrophysics. Today, we'll unlock the secrets of the universe, tracing the awe-inspiring journey of how the elements that make up everything around us were born. This is Ball. It's the shape of planet Earth. The sun is also shaped like a ball, but much bigger. The Earth orbits around the sun. The sun is a star that looks big because it is close. Other stars look tiny because they are so far away. Stars are heavy balls of hot gas. Inside stars, atoms squeeze together. Smaller atoms combine to make bigger atoms and a lot of energy. That energy keeps stars hot and makes them shine brightly. When the universe was born, there were only a few of the simplest atoms. Now there are many kinds of atoms called elements. Most of these were made by stars. Some elements were made by stars that were living. Some elements were made by stars that were dying. And some were made when stars crashed into each other. The very atoms inside your body were created by stars. Stars exploded, sending atoms out into space. Those atoms were around when the sun formed almost 5 billion years ago. And when the Earth formed around the same time, those atoms were still on Earth when you were born. When new stars form, they recycle atoms from old stars. And you are part of this cycle. The atoms of old stars live on in you. Now you know astrophysics. And there you have it, young astronomers. Remember, astrophysics is a captivating journey that unveils the mysteries of our universe. By exploring the cosmos, you'll expand your knowledge, ignite your imagination, and perhaps even become the next great astrophysicist. So, keep looking up, stay curious, and let the wonders of astrophysics guide your exploration of the cosmos. Thanks to Chris Ferrer and Cara Florence for this simple explanation of complex idea for future genius. This is a ball. It has a positive charge. Positive charges repel other positive charges. Swoosh. Bye, balls. This ball has no charge. It doesn't repel anything. It is neutral. If we put a neutral ball in the middle of positive balls, the positive coils won't fly apart. The more positive balls we have, the more neutral balls we need in order to keep them together. These balls are like the center of an atom, called the nucleus. The nucleus is made of tiny positive and neutral balls called protons and neutrons.
A nucleus is stable when it has just the right number of protons and neutrons. A stable nucleus stays just like the forever. But if there isn't the right number of protons and neutrons, the nucleus becomes unstable. An unstable nucleus releases energy to become stable. This is called radioactive decay. We don't know when it will decay. Maybe it will happen, no, not yet. There it goes. The nucleus is stable now. The amount of time for half of these nuclei to decay is called half-life. Now you know nuclear physics. Welcome, science enthusiasts. Get ready to unlock the secrets of statistical physics. Today, we'll take a dive into the fascinating world of probability, entropy, and how everything around us obeys these fundamental laws of nature. This is a ball. This ball is on the left. Now it's on the move. Now it's on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six balls. These balls are on the move. Sometimes there are more on the left. And sometimes there are more on the right. Rarely are they all on the same side. We usually find them like this. Now each ball is a different color. There is only one way for all the balls to be on the left. There are six ways for one ball to be on the right. There are 15 ways for two balls to be on the right. There are 20 ways for three balls to be on each side. That is why we see this more often. Physicists call the number of different combinations entropy. Low entropy. High entropy. Even if all the balls start on one side, they end up here because it is much more likely. Things move from low entropy to high entropy. This is the second law of thermodynamics. But in order to move from high entropy, you must add effort and energy. Things naturally go from organized to messy. Now you know statistical physics. And there you have it, science enthusiasts. Now, we appreciate the inevitability of entropy and the importance of energy transformations. So, embrace the beauty of order and disorder, and let the wonders of statistical physics inspire your quest for knowledge. <laughs>